If you guys enjoy my videos and play Minecraft, you may also enjoy my Minecraft server. Now the IP is on screen or it's in the description below. Anyways, enjoy the video. So what's going on guys? My name is Anthony and today I'm going to be bringing you guys 15 things that you didn't know about the axe in Minecraft. Now if you guys do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give this video a like rating. Like this video if you love chopping down trees with a diamond axe. I mean, come on, it's so satisfying. But anyways, enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and get straight into today's video about the axe in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy it. The axe was added along with the pickaxe and the shovel in the in-dev phase of Minecraft on December 31st, 2009. However, at the time, the axe could not be obtained by the player, but it didn't matter anyway because it didn't have any functionality or use whatsoever. Now fast forward a week or so to January 11th 2010, the player would now spawn with an axe in their inventory upon creating a new world and its primary purpose was to now gather wood 400% faster than by using your hand. But then on January 24th, 2010, a change was made to where the player no longer spawned with an axe upon starting a new world. Instead, there were multiple chests in the starter in dev house, and it looks like this, containing a stack of every available block and item in the game, including, of course, the axe. When the axe was first added into Minecraft, you will notice that the appearance for the tool is quite different. This is because if you look closely, you'll notice that the axe's texture appeared as being double-sided as you can see on screen, and I have to say it looks very strange. However, in a later in-dev version of the game, half of the axe's head was removed from the axe's texture, resulting in the item looking like this, and it has looked like this ever since. Another thing you'll probably notice is that in Minecraft, in dev, an axe held by the player actually appeared in a 2D like fashion, making it look very very strange. I mean, just look at this axe. The player is not even holding it correctly. It just looks very, very odd. However, a few days later, this was changed so an axe held by the player appeared in a more 3D-like fashion and it's looked like this ever since. And I have to say, I'm so glad they changed this because the 2D looking axe it doesn't look right. The Iron Axe was the first type of axe to be added into Minecraft, and as I mentioned before, it was added in December 2009. However, the other types of axes in Minecraft that you guys know today actually came a bit later as the Wooden, Stone, and Diamond Axe were added a week later or so on January 29th, 2010. Now, we cannot forget about the Gold Axe, can we? Because one day later, on January 30th, 30th, the Golden Axe was added into the game as well. As of the 1.13 update, right-clicking on any type of log with an axe will cause it to become a stripped log, which is a new type of wooden log block introduced in 1.13. Now, there is a stripped log variant for every type of log in Minecraft, and here on screen are all the different variants of the stripped log blocks. Very cool indeed. The Vindicator mob will all always spawn with an iron axe, however they will only equip it if the player causes the mob to become hostile towards them. The Vindicator also has an 8.5% chance to drop the iron axe they equip upon death, which is uh, very cool. Another cool feature is that naming the Vindicator mob Johnny will cause the mob to attack any nearby mobs with the iron axe they are holding, which is very, very funny to watch. I mean, just look at this Vindicator chasing after the creeper, although the creeper might sometimes explode and kill the Vindicator, which can also be very funny. So you guys obviously know that the fastest way to destroy a wooden slab in Minecraft is to use an axe. Well, back in the earlier days of Minecraft, this was actually not the case. This is because the original wooden slab that was added in the beta stage of Minecraft used a wooden planks texture, but it wasn't actually under a wooden type block category. Instead, 
said the wood slab was under the stone slab category, which meant the player had to mine it with a pickaxe instead of an axe, which was very strange. However, in version release 1.3, a change was made so that wooden slabs were actually wooden type blocks, which meant they were destroyed quickest with an axe. If you select the bonus chest option when creating a new world, you have a chance to get both a wooden axe and a stone axe inside of the bonus chest, which can be very useful for quickly collecting wood for the first night in Minecraft. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the in-dev phase of the game, when the player would gather logs from a tree with an axe, instead of getting the one log itself, you would actually instead get three to five wooden planks. This basically meant that in the in-dev phase, the player could obtain more wood due to being able to get five wood planks per log rather than always giving the player four wooden planks per log by crafting them. Throughout most of the in-dev phase of Minecraft, all of the types of axes such as wood, stone, iron, gold and diamond would all chop down trees at the same speed and all the tools would have infinite durability as you can see on screen. It's trivia time! This is the part of the video where you guys show me your Minecraft knowledge by me asking you a random Minecraft fact question. The pig was added into Minecraft before the cow. True or false? Speaking of durability, the durability on each type of axe in Minecraft actually differ quite a lot. The wooden axe can use up to 60 uses before being destroyed, while the stone axe can use up to 132 uses. The iron axe can use up to 251 uses before being destroyed, while the golden axe only has a measly 33 uses before being destroyed, thus making the golden axe just absolutely terrible. Now the diamond axe, however, is just insane, because the diamond axe can use up to 1,562 uses before being destroyed. As of the Minecraft 1.9 update, the axe can also be used as a weapon, as the damage done when using an axe actually does more damage than a sword, but the recovery time is a lot longer, as you can see on screen. The axe's attack speed is based on the tier of the axe, so the wooden and stone axes have an attack speed of 0.8, while the iron axe has an attack speed of 0.9. The diamond axe has an attack speed of 1, obviously making it the best choice of axe to use in Minecraft. As of the 1.3.1 update, axes could be traded with villagers. So, in 1.3, blacksmith villagers would sell one diamond axe for 9 to 11 emeralds and one iron axe for 6 to 7 emeralds. In 1.8, however, a change was made to where the blacksmith villager would sell an enchanted diamond axe for 9 to 12 emeralds and one iron axe for 6 to 8 emeralds. The unenchanted diamond axe I mentioned earlier were removed from villager trading in 1.8. Both the Golden Axe and the Iron Axe are able to be smelted in a furnace, resulting in the player receiving one Golden Nugget or one Iron Nugget. But anyways, that just about concludes today's video about the axe in Minecraft, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed the video and all found it informative. Now, I haven't actually addressed this in a video yet, but I just wanted to thank you all so much for 900,000 subscribers. We are 100k away from the big 1 million and I cannot be more excited to be honest. As you can tell, I'm a little bit lost for words. I cannot believe I am at 900k. I just I just never thought the channel would ever get this far to be honest. Um, I, I just uh, started the channel making videos with my friends, um, you know, for fun and all that and I never thought it would be my job or anything. It's just insane. So thank you all so much for the support guys. I just cannot thank you all enough. But anyways, I am going to go now because I need a drink after doing all of this commentating and I'm also quite tired as well because it is almost 3 a.m. Yes, that's right guys. I record my videos at really stupid times. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go now. So thank you all so much for watching the video. Mario videos are coming soon. So definitely look forward to that as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. So cheers for watching guys. Have an awesome day and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Katie is a legend, but also a bit of a peasant. I'm joking.